All right, is the live action Avatar going to be good? I don't fucking know, it's not out yet. But this is what I do know. I know that Netflix has a long streak of fucking shit that gets spewed out on their screens. And uh, I mean, I guess they did good with the other anime ad adaptation that I didn't watch. Um, I don't know is is if Avatar the Live Action is even is going to be good. It looks decent. I'm looking up all the trailers. It looks like they're trying to do everything spot on. Uh, it looks like they are changing a little bit for the sake of live action from uh, a cartoon. Uh, one thing I mentioned was that they are not hiding Fire Lord Ozai. I don't know why. That's fine. I don't care as long as it's good. Uh, another thing that they changed is like Azuka, and a lot of people fucking got mad at me for this. Um, I just mentioned that Zuko's scar, um, didn't burn off his eyebrow. Just something simple, stupid, but that I noticed. And then I got a million people, this is on a comment thread that I left on a video. Uh, and I got a hundred fucking million people saying I'm a fucking idiot. Because they're, they're telling me about fucking hair follicle biology. First of all, I don't care. Second of all, I understand how hair follicles grow and they work. I understand that if the roots of the follicle are burned, then they can no longer come back. So what I said was, as I said, the scar on Zuko's face without the eyebrow shows the impact of the big inflicted damage that was done to him by his father. That's all I said. And people are like, uh, uh, fuck you, man. Uh, the hair follicles uh, grow back. And listen, I don't care. I'm just pointing out another fact. He didn't have an eyebrow in the cartoon, and now he does. I don't care. As long as it's good. As long as the show is good. I could give two fucks whether he has an eyebrow or not. Um, Another thing. Sorry, I'm sick. I've been sick for like three weeks. Um, Another thing. Uh, oh, and people were saying, oh my god, people are so fucking stupid. People were saying, uh, well, uh, if he doesn't have an eyebrow, then he's doesn't, he's not going to be able to show emotion. It's, it's impossible to make a character without emotion unless he has his eyebrows. I'm like, I'm going to pretend I didn't fucking hear that and then, uh, and then continue on with my day. So, I mean, honestly... It looks good. I saw the, all the promos. I saw all the fucking bending in the anime thing. Some parts do look really fucking cheesy as fuck because it's just the FX. Like, I don't think there's much. I mean, I don't think there's much I can do with that. It looks like the Netflix uh, version of full uh, of visual effects bending. I mean, what are you gonna do? I think this is our most expensive show yet. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but that's, again, my opinion, my opinion for everyone who's going to fucking read me out in the comments about it. It's just my opinion. Um, I think a lot of some of the bending in it looks really good. And it just, some of it looks a little out of place because first of all, it's not real. Um, but I mean, if it re I mean, maybe in the show when the show actually plays and you get uh, invested and sucked into the world, um, it looks more real. Uh, like you get used to it. Um, another thing, I mean, Netflix has just, like, as long as they don't do any of that woke bullshit and, uh, insert the fucking identity politics in here, then I don't give a fuck what they do. As long as it's just a good show adaptation, I mean, the character, the cast looks great. Um, there was a thing going around, uh, about the actors saying, uh, that Sockham's sexism was removed because it wasn't uh necessary i think shit like that's fucking stupid um why get rid of soccer sexism but then the netflix show one of the apparently a netflix showrunner said that that's bullshit and uh that's just not true we didn't remove anything about soccer sexism um yeah i mean so I don't fucking know i i don't care if they you know what though i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest like don't fucking, like, you can take shit out, add shit in, you can change, ev like, this is, this is what I'm, this is the whole thing. <laughs> you can change 
anything about everything, pe but people will notice. People will 110% notice. The only thing is, is if you change something, make sure it's good. Make sure it's actually good. Because if you change something and it sucks, then nobody's going to watch it. So I'm just afraid that th this is the shit that I'm afraid for. Um, you know how modern day uh, movies and fucking TV shows do this fucking whole women power bullshit? And they do the fucking, um, I don't know. I don't, right now I don't see all this fucking culturally diverse nonsense. It looks one-to-one -one with that. But, I mean, it's only a matter of time before fucking Aang says I'm a, I'm a he, him, her, it. I hope not. I hope they don't fucking do any of that bullshit. It doesn't look like it. It looks, the show, this is the first time the show genuinely just looks decent. I'm just iffy. Because all they gotta do is do that one little self-insert of this fucking modern day nonsense. And then it, the, the show is completely fucking dead and ruined for me. But... Uh, maybe not for other people. Maybe other people will get fooled into watching the rest of it. I just hope it's good. That's it. I don't want this to fail. I want this to be good. Avatar The Last Airbender is literally my childhood. Uh, it's everything I love. It is the show that I've probably watched. I probably watch it. I probably watch the show once a year since it came out. Uh, from full to from start to end and it probably takes me like two or three days and i just binge the whole show and i watch it once a year since the show came out um i mean yeah i saw the promos everything looks decent we're just gonna have to wait and see what the final product is is netflix gonna flop it or like honestly you know who the actual retards are though it's the a lot of the i want to say that they're fans but i guarantee you that they discovered Avatar before, after it came out. Because the way that these people talk when they defend the show is like the people who would talk when they're trying to defend something that was like generations before them because they sound like they know more about it than you do. Um, here's the thing, motherfucker. I was alive and I watched it air the first time and nobody gave a fuck about it, especially book one. It became more popular as time went on. Um, yeah, and then it got 100% Rotten Tomatoes, and everyone loved it and said it was the best show on the planet. But, you know, if I'm pointing out facts about it, about, like, the, the characters or whatever, like, that's not an attack. That's just me being fucking real. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. But, I don't know. Some people just get mad. I think it's fucking dumb. People are just getting mad at the fact, like, like, people are huffing so much uh copium that like even if the show is bad to them it's going to be good and that's a problem because they're going to people like netflix is going to think that that's good um i don't care if netflix changes things obviously fucking brian and fucking i don't know dan or whatever the fuck d martino whatever the fuck their names are the original creators uh when all fucking woke fucking bullshit nonsense identity fucking nonsense with the legend of Korra and uh the legend of Korra sucked ass I don't care what anybody says you're never gonna change my opinion on it that fucking show sucked dick and um it was just really bad and honestly I don't think Brian and fucking Mike were even the head honchos on Avatar The Last Airbenders there was that one Asian dude that um was the third guy that ended up leaving uh, when Avatar was done, and he's probably the only one who saved the show anyway. I guess that they said the showrunners, or, or the original creators, um, wanted to change everything about the show because of differences. I'm gonna just believe that they wanted to change, I, I don't know for a fact, but I'm just gonna have a guess they wanted to change shit about the show to make it more popular to modern audiences, which is stupid, because they would have ruined their masterpiece, I agree. Um, I don't think they know what they have or what they have ever have had. Because when I hear them talk, I, I watched a, a little podcast about Brian and fucking whatever uh, talking about their show and talking about Cora and stuff. And they're, they, they sound like they're the most fucking out of touch people uh, in reality. 
Um, they, they just sound like delusional fucking 18 year olds. So I don't, I don't know, but we're just going to have to wait and see. That's really it. I really hope the show does good, but it's 2024 and one year after 2023. And we all know what happened over the past fucking since 2014 and on, everyone became fucking retarded on this planet and, uh, boys and girls don't even know what fucking gender they are anymore so i'm afraid to see these fucking politics and all this nonsense injected into one of the best uh franchises on the planet so let's see it's gonna be a hit or miss on you netflix either everyone's gonna love it or the original avatar fans are gonna fucking hate it and if you made the show for anyone else other than avatar fans that's a mistake so we're going to have to see. That's all I have to say.